boys! This is your king and I, Vincent Valentine, EX Turk, and we're going to do a reaction to uh, an Assassin's Creed thing because it has something to do with Final Fantasy. Mainly Final Fantasy 15. I need to adjust the camera. Sorry. It's been a little rough with the adjusting. But, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold up. Give me a minute. There it goes. There. Just a little bit up. There it goes. All right, this works. Let's do work. So, let's get started on Arden's part of the Assassin's Creed. I can't. Wait, why is this? Okay, good. So, I kind of turned it off a little bit. The... Oh, I'm probably the lighting in the video then. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Ho 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 ho. Hold up. Hold up. So, Arden was in the Assassin's Creed Origins world. Tabata, I want you to explain to me what happened in this series. Like, this is so much retconning. First, Chapter 12 discounted and cut off the Pityos ruins as canon. D Tabitha can't decide if he wants 15 to be a fellow Crystal as Neolia game or not. Episode Ignis changed a little bit of things. Everything is being changed. I mean, and pretty much if you really look at it, Episode Ignis was um, Final Fantasy Versus 13's um, Altitia arc, but instead of playing as Noctis, you play with Ignis. What's going on, Mr. Tabitha? What's going on? Was it not a good enough to put the Assassin's Creed Festival inside 15 where you played Assassin's Creed gameplay on the Final Fantasy 15 game? So you had to go and do this. Let's keep watching. Bahamut? Well, I guess since Arden's there, that kind of does make sense. So, is the Assassin's Creed world connected to Lucis? Wait, you get Noctis' weapon and Gladiolus' shield? I guess this world's connected to Lucis somehow. Well, the only thing I can do is either play Assassin's Creed Origins or, you know. No, no, no. You don't need to play it again. We've seen it. Either play Assassin's. Okay, so play either Assassin's Creed Origins or. Or look at the Final Fantasy uh, Wiki for this. I think it's I can't, I can't remember. Yeah, it's just called Final Fantasy Wiki. So my question is, um, does this mean that Assassin's Creed Origins game is connected to 15 somehow? Because that's what I'm getting at. Now I know there's been a lot of guest character stuff. There's been Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Injustice. There's been uh, Noctis, Lucius, Kylie, and Tekken 7. There's been, you know, Akuma from uh, from Street Fighter and Tekken 7. I get that we have the guest character, but, but it works better in fighting games. I don't see how this is going to really work. I mean, it's only one cutscene anyways, but it's like most people are going to wondering why. Why this? Why should this exist and that? I get that 15 is made in Assassin's Creed Festival. And, you know, to some understanding, it could fit on the fact that it was st it didn't play, it played like Assassin's Creed, but it didn't have the Assassin's Creed storyline. But they're putting something that's from one game's storyline into another and trying to make it work. But I guess this is the only way you... They make it so you get Noctis's weapons. It ain't the first time Nier actually you could get Noctis's engine blade in in the game Nier. But then again, or Square Enix owns the rights to Nier and Final Fantasy 15. So I'm curious, did Tabata slip uh, fi uh, slip 
some five bands onto the creator of Assassin's Creed's pocket to put Arden in, Arden in their game. And then what, even though it's just a cut scene, I mean, it's, that's the thing too, it's a cut scene. It's like most people are probably going to ask for Arden boss fight now. Since now you put it in there, but I don't see how this, this is just my opinion on some stuff. Don't take it for granted, boys. But, yeah. I don't know what the, I honestly feel, to be quite honest. I really have no honest to feel, except maybe this is kind of pushing a little bit. You know? Final Fantasy 15 was already a good game without them retcon and stuff. You know, the Piteous Rune should have been canon. You know, Battle of Crystallis Novia, it, 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 you know, it still exists. But I don't think it should be removed either. And what else? Um, this is a whole mess. But I gotta be quite honest. I gotta be quite honest and look at this object now. As a Final Fantasy fanboy, I kind of like it that the Final Fantasy is now going to become mainstream again. And everybody's going to be playing Final Fantasy again. But at the same time, I don't see how combining two universes that don't comply with each other work really well you know i'm already i'm already kind of pissed off about the turtles being in and in, injustice as it is and you know doing i think everybody's doing too much at some point marketing is good but there's a little bit too much it's like if you work at mcdonald's and you put too much salt on people's fries and you just taste salt you don't taste fries the point i'm trying to say is as a Final Fantasy fan, of course I appreciate it, but as an ob objective gamer with an opinion, and what with not only an opinion but with my own critical thinking skills, I don't think this is the smartest move Square Enix has done. But it's done, and that's all I could say. So may the crystal be with you.